Darkness and light. They bought items made and shipped from far away, and they saved really big. Their jobs disappeared, and others worked as slaves, unable to afford what they made. Her bathrooms were always so clean and shiny and safe. Her antiseptic cleansers biologically selected for the strongest pathogens. He awoke in the Saturday darkness and drove far to the wilderness. At the trailhead to the lofty summit were already parked more than 50 cars. His lush green and manicured lawn was the envy of his good neighbors. It leached precious water, eutropifying fertilizer, and toxic pesticides into their midst. They pointed, clicked, and tested their way far out into the vast reaches of cyberspace. They rejected organized learning and spelling, syntax and grammar also eluded them. The country saved money eliminating preventative social and health programs, but the required new jails and emergency services proved even more expensive. The president emerged firm in his belief after talks with his personal savior. The imams were unbending in their narrow interpretations of their infallible Quran. They had real jobs cutting down trees the foolish damn tourists spent money just to see. When they were done, they no longer had jobs and no more stupid tourists even came. They counted on an increasing population to pay the debts of their wondrous times. Subsequent generations lived in ignorant poverty on a shattered and overcrowded planet. He enjoyed his morning latte and needed to get out for lunch in his new car. At 50, his services were no longer required, and he realized he had nothing saved at all. They clamored for freedom and local control of their own natural resources. Outside developers bought them out for pennies on the dollar and built empty, gated second home communities. They spent trillions building the most powerful military the world had ever known. Their greatest threat was a scraggly band in sandals that eluded them for years. They realized they could no longer stay the course, but they knew well that they must never cut and run. Executive perks and compensation increased by some 16-fold, but real worker spending power declined by nearly 12%. They flocked to their beloved seashore to raise families and retire in the sand. They drained the wetlands, eroded the beaches, and polluted the oceans with their wastes. She was uninjured after missing the stop sign due to her kids yelling and her cell phone talking, but that economy car was destroyed. Thank God SUVs are so very safe. He could quote movie stars and commercials as well as a myriad of sports trivia. As he lay dying, he finally realized his own thoughts were very few and quite unconsidered. The dam provided inexpensive electricity and eliminated the threat of floods. But the rich silt no longer fertilized the valley farms and fishing livelihoods were lost. The industry advisors spoke with one voice regarding the country's energy policy. Their society was left supporting terrorists with every tank of gas they wasted. She took great care of herself, watched her diet, and did not drink. She died thin and pretty, and having not recognized anyone for 25 years. Ancient traditions had sustained their Asian society for several millennia. Rushing to modernization, they lost their culture while destroying their environment. Concentrating all week on those two short days off from the endless work to come, but every weekend was lost just the same in a dusty, noisy, swirling blur. Always fighting deadlines and following tight and pressured schedules, they finished way late without any fanfare because, in reality, no one really cared. Sensing the Creator everywhere from all his work so close at hand, swallowing dusty scripture without masticating, like little black pills of literal truth. Springing from the void into Mother's warmth and safety, ascending into paradise, or maybe just decaying into dust once again.